Hey, it's Tim. Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I got some interesting news this morning from my friends Zane and Josh Merva over at gm-trucks.com. They found an interesting leak that actually shows the new front end of the upcoming 2022 Chevy Silverado. Uh, this was from the parts catalog that got updated and sent out before they officially unveiled the truck. This happened before. Yes, it did. During the work truck show, GM announced the new powertrains coming to the commercial lineup and how they had killed a lot of the AFM systems. So the active fuel management, now it's all dynamic fuel management. Video above about those changes coming to the engine. So we're, we're about a couple weeks away from the 2022 information coming out officially. But here's what we got. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen. I'm also going to show you something about work truck interior that's pretty interesting. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get to the screen. Okay, like I said, over at gm-trucks.com, my friend Zane, he's got this photo. This is from the parts catalog showing the new front end for the redesigned Chevy Servato. So it's, it's pretty interesting. That's kind of behind the camouflage. So currently we've sent photos out there, different uh, images showing the spy photos all wrapped up. You can't see anything. And I've neglected to run some of these videos just because there's nothing to see. We're waiting for the full reveals. But what he's saying in this case, this looks like a work truck trim to me, but he's saying we're going to have Chevrolet spelled out in different trims as well. And there may be a new hood scoop. Well, I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, sorry, Zane, not sure I agree with that, but let's go, go to Photoshop because I thought it was pretty interesting when I was able to put these together. So what I did was I went and found a 2019 Chevy Silverado work truck, and I found this in the parts catalog. So, you know, I was sitting there kind of analyzing this, uh, doing the uh, armchair quarterback, if you will, and I kind of looked at a couple things. First of all, the Chevrolet here is much higher. See how that comes along that front light there? And so imagine taking this Chevrolet here and going even higher up and putting against that front lap light. That's kind of what I think they're going to do there. And then, you know, this little indentation staying, the air curtains are staying. You can see them there. See the air curtains there. So there's not much changes there, not changing sheet metal at all. It looks like they're just going to change the grill for different trims. Now, there looks like there's some grill shutters down here or some more airflow to help with uh, transmission cooling and help with overall engine cooling. But I don't know if it's going to carry through on all the work trucks or if this is going to be changed in the lower fascia or just going to be different trims. And then this, this hood scoop issue there, I think that's about the same. So I think what you're seeing is just a new grill. Now, the Chevrolet is an option here that comes out, and there it is there. So I, kind of a, frankly, a little disappointing. There's not many much big change there. It looks like it's about the same, just Chevrolet is up a little higher. This looks like it could be some new lighting, maybe some LED lights, standard throughout the lineup more. I don't know, and get rid of the incandescence. It, it could be interesting to see what they do there, but it looks like the overall shape's the same, the body line's the same. I'm seeing the same body line there. I'm not seeing anything too different there. Um, so that, that's what's kind of going on in the exterior. So that's what we're seeing from the parts catalog. So it looks like Chevrolet's moved up a little bit, so just some little bit changes in the grill, which is, always happens mid-cycle refresh. There's always small changes. But if we go over here, the other thing that's interesting, and they got this. They got this spy photo that I haven't seen yet. Is uh, this is the interior of a work truck trim that they're calling a work truck trim? And this was in a drive-through, and uh, they were able to run up there and get them while they're waiting for the food. Spy photographers are pretty aggressive, <laughs> and so uh, you can see the column shifter still there. Now we did a video on this channel that showed the the its new turn dial shifter, or excuse me, console shifter, not a column shifter. So it looks like GM's going to follow what Ford does. Ford does. Column shifters and console shifters. They do both depending on the application. So a lot of work trucks or lower trim like the F50 Power Boost I just sold had the column shifter. But if you went the sport trim and XLT or you went with the higher trim level, you got the console shifter. So it looks like they're making some changes there. And then you can see the really small screen there. So there's, I mean, that this interior here looks the same to me as what a 2020 looks like. And I'm a little bit shocked there's not any changes I really see. I, the interior looks spot on the same. This is the one area they could really work on. And you can see the, the dial gauges. You don't see the, the digital display. So, you know, it, it could be a situation where they're talking about, you know, it's going to be uh, work truck trim is going to stay up the same. They're going to make some changes in the higher trim maybe. And they're going to leave the, the work truck the same and, and just change up the grill a little bit and change up the uh, maybe a minor uh, tweaks to the packaging, what they offer, maybe some of the interior just a little bit. But yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot that gets me kind of excited right now about what Chevy's doing with Silverado. And I'm really interested to see, you know, what what this looks like under the uh, under the, the covering. This is the premium level Silverado. You can see with the larger screen and the bigger screen there. 
And so it's interesting how the differences between those two models are. So there you go. That's what we know today. And I want to know what this knob is. It's a very interesting knob. Uh, anyways, that's what I know today in the, the Chevy Silverado. So again, we're a couple weeks away. Um, I think probably sometime after Labor Day, we're going to know all the details on the Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra for 2020. We're going to see the, all the different trim levels and we're going to see what's going on as far as what they're going to launch this year. So if you're waiting for a Silverado, it's coming. We're getting closer and closer to that uh, time where we're going to see Chevy's going to put all the cards on the table and we're going to see what we're going to get. So make sure you check this video out over here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.